Hi guys, mambo vipi? Aupo ko fresh. Naitwa Krian. Karibu tena kwa FXB University. University. Sema mbo utapata your degree, financial degree, finance degree. I don't know about. Yeah. First degree. <laughs> so, the actual video leo tutaongelea kuhusiana na GBP JPY. What's next for GBP JPY? Last video tuliona DXY, GBP JPY na GBP UST. Almost I just gave you easy setup zote just for you to enter and almost zote zime pray out. GBP JPY may buy takriban PC 800. Imagine uh, from my swing, from my swing I can say and was a little bit crazy and kuna watu wengi ambao wamekuwa kiniuliza like ah Korean ulianzaje yani kuwa na such mindset kwa mnakopo na ji I mean and it, 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 it was easy haikuwa rahisi kabisa ku um ku evolve kuwa na such trading skills uh, toka nimeanza 2017 18 19 20 leo ni 2022 it was a hard journey and a tough tough journey mpaka kufikia hapa nilipo. But make sure kupitia hii channel once I will even tell you my my back story how I started trading and how how I how I, I mastered the general craft of trading and and where I am right now naweza nikasema uh, I've literally managed uh, to evolve and I mean kijikumbuka vile ambavyo nilikuwa uh, back then nilikuwa nikiona some trading setups kwenye chart Um, na lai nao na kwa nakumbuka that last time nilikuwa nikiona hivi na na, na react hivi lai nao na react hivi what came in my mind i will i'll give you a certain tip by the way if you are new don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for the better trading tricks trading tips or for your personal growth here yeah. one ebook in it was principles in life by lay dalio nilikisoma hiki kitabu Oh, of course mimi napenda vitabu. Napenda sana kusoma vitabu sana and ndo maana before hata kuanza kushare anything nilianza kushare vitabu ambavyo ilikuwa ni kupitia Telegram. Uh, hii channel inaitwa Forex Books. Go check it out. Forex Books ambapo huko nilikuwa na share all of the ebooks that that worked for me. I was sharing them right there. And a lot of people ambao wapo kule hata si wa Tanzania. Wengi ni wa Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Um, Morocco a lot of friends out there ndo hapo kule that's why you can find like nicho kuwa na share kule sio Kiswahili i was sharing in english the uh, reason behind because a lot of uh, of friends who are, who are living in such box who are not even from Tanzania right now wabongo ndo hapo kule sasa hivi nimewekea mpaka group la kuchat they are always chatting so i started from there sharing some ebooks a lot of ebooks ambazo mpaka sasa hivi nimesikana nikasema like kimenisaidia sana kuwa na general mindset of finance uh, is that ebook of Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio nimesoma vitabu vyake viwili. The first one is about principle and work. Um, uh, principles of life and work. Uh, the other one is the uh, mechanism of markets, market mechanism. This ebook ebook si zimenijenga sana kuwa na mindset kwa sababu kupitia life and, and work Lay Dalio ni one of the greatest hedge fund manager of all all time and aliweza kuanzisha association yake ambayo ni Bridgewater Association Bridgewater ni hedge fund kwa mbao mjui ni one of the greatest hedge fund manager himself but the actual founder na ile hedge fund yake ndio kubwa worldwide ambayo imeweza kutengenezea client wake pesa nyingi kama faida for them they trade wana trade currencies wana trade commodities they trade everything kwenye financial markets so who who read that you are share general principles aka share uh, rules and his lifestyle over the financial markets nilivyosoma kile kitabu nikisoma mara ya kwanza nikakimaliza nikakirudia tena mara ya pili nikakimaliza nikakirudia tena mara ya tatu nikakimaliza and it was not even enough i downloaded this ebook uh, audio book ambo every lawyer same ambapo polikopo labda nime chill utanikuta nimeka earpods nasikiliza ebook yake but imenijenga kuwa na ile general mindset kwamba financial markets how vile ina function and how vile ina ina move lakini pia ana 
YouTube channel ambayo inaitwa Ray Dario it will pop up. Hii YouTube channel pia maanyi wanafuatilia but for you your personal growth unaweza kai check it out. So, it's a long story he still um bias. Now, I would take this chance to thank you guys for your cooperation. Actually mekwa so much support for this journey. It may grow. It may grow Tacroban. Wow. So I will be sharing all of my tips guys. Just stay tuned and right now I'm working on the website. This month in a quarantine I will be so happy kwa sababu nitapata muda mwingi ku focus na markets. A lot of time naitumia na ku focus kwenye market at the same time ku share na nyinyi. Lakini kupitia website itakuwa imenipunguzia mzigo. I'll be focusing on trading back to back back to back I even start sharing my general lifestyle so you can even enjoy it. So, thank you for listening this general intro. Tuangalie GBP chapter. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into GBP JPY. You know the vibe guys, you know the vibe. GBP JPY, GBP UST and DXY. You remember last time niliambia kuhusiana na na hii GBP I mean DXY kwamba nitegemea tupate some strong strength around here and that's what happened. Tukaona almost in again some strength, but I I I think so. Kwa leo almost na close na hii kind of We'll see some simple uh, draw drawdowns around here for it to to continue higher if if not uh, dropping until around this level. Now, uh, is into some of the pairs and bazos nazo line now is nalan. Iya bando GBP JPY. Uh, last time dot rifanya analysis. Is any langis uh, langia papa don't know if it's papa bando pairs and bazos line now is nalan and zipo konye break even or on uh, risky free trades. In GBP uh, in New Zealand, that's some of my trades. Um, but so line house na run. Uh, GBP USD pia tuliona niliona share is simple head and shoulder structure. I don't know if kama mdi take advantage. The other one ilikuwa ni Euro J. Actually, it's kuingia tena lakini my take profit was hit. And the other pair ilikuwa ni USD SHF. Um, but line now still may hit my take profit. Now let's see GBP JPY now. Uh, let me uh, GBP JPY. Here we are. So GBP JPY. I don't know what, what about fundamentals. Uh, but in a line right line now. Uh, but it was China number fundamental. I take a to one. What technical has it for us? Now we want to know like GBP JPY. What's next? Okay. So in the my analysis, guys. Uh, here upon the analysis, when you four hour time frame. But now na ni chagwe pe ni chagwe a fresh 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 pe ambo haina micholo micholo so that tuneza tuka GBP JPY yeah so ni chagwe wanda so nga ni toya hii micholo now hii hi ndo pe ambo tuko nao ni tanzia kabisa kwenye monthly monthly now let's see vile ambapo structure yake ilivyo and you see now hii hapa ndo monthly level gbp jpy and tumekuwa tuki move all way kuanzia huku chini kwenye hii level and tukapata hii impulse impulse move correction impulse now hii yote ilikuwa ni correction so that tupate the other the other push i think tayari mnaanza kupata mwanga why nime swing trade okay now kwenye hii structure ambo liner tulikuwa po tume stack hii likuwa ni just correction guys you just need to know how market structure plays out ok this is a monthly level and where are we heading to tulikuwa tume stack kwenye hii previous ya uh, uh, previous low na not previous low previous ya uh, around here hapo ndo tulikuwa tume stack reason behind kwa ni tume stack hapo kwa sababu hii yote likuwa ni correction hili tupate hii collect the other momentum tupate impulsive move okay now where can we stop now around this level is where you can see kwamba tunaweza tuka 
tukapata a simple pullback around the ikaanza tena ku maybe ku retrace around this level kama ilichokifanya hapa au whatever kama ambacho imekifanya hapa i don't know but what market uh, a price is how we should take it okay kwa sababu hapa ni high time frame a month now let's drop kwenye lower time frame lakini hii ilikuwa ni uptrend market structure nzuri tu ya kuvutia you know wayo wayo <laughs> you know how we are market na queen of prayers you know the vibe guys you need to know this kind of stuff so that unaweza kuwa na take advantage okay mimi spotezi kitu chochote kushare na wewe so i just share with you so that unaweza ka uka take advantage na kwenye hii actual structure ndo ambayo tulikuwa tuki uh, tuki consolidate nayo hii hapa and right now tuko kwenye hii mpasse move hii hapa where next now next is this level here market has it to tap here hapa it where the market has it to tap okay now right now gj is next stop is around here Uh, before having such pullback uh, ama consolidation ama correction uh, ya namna hii and kama daily candle weekly candle ndo ipo hivi na let's see kwenye daily where what it has for us now my entry is always started from this level here unaona kulikuwa na some of market imbalance around this level okay ambapo ndo almost market retap around here is not it any market imbalance guys okay um ni mostly requested topic but i will even share it soon soon i even share it about 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 such kind of stuffs okay and we also have a structure ambo ndo ilikuwa kama breakout i remember all took up to trade here inside this level eh ambapo ilikuwa ni kama support level okay what got to trade here home what ni ka buy then around there ni kasel all way down then safe to buy okay I didn't expect it kwamba uh, tuta break it level as soon as wa- what happened lakini I knew that we all we tali kuna siku tutakuja kupata kitu kama hiki. Right now kwenye daily tuna close na hii candle formation. Hii hapa maybe si high I don't know. Lakini kama ita close around this level tunaweza tukapata a simple simple pullback until maybe wow, where until maybe around there. Uh, so that to put the other push all the way up uh, so i don't know kama vile itatokea uh, this soon mpa au ita consolidate i don't know how vile itakuwa lakini tunaweza tukapata a simple simple market correction like this one okay like this one you see tunaweza kupata kitu kama hichi consolidate around there before having the other push all the way up lakini kwenye hard time frame ambao ndo daily next it up ni around this level here is where market will be praying it out okay so kama ulikuepo umebuy hii kitu all way from this level i don't know au kama around this level i don't know vile ambapo well ifanya lakini i know some of you may have entered around this level before this bigger push remember when you have the impulse we always have the correction Now you need to know I think the previous video make sure you watch it about um about market structures and and um, vile market ina mambo vina move in a trend okay last video ni litoa some of the concepts about how market plays out make sure you check it out okay and the other video is not the other video I'm sorry the other uh, uh pair il, uh, ni GBP USD Now last time kwenye GBP JPY ilikuwa na trend around this level I remember ambao nikwambia kwamba tunaweza kupata a simple pullback ambao ndio ilikuwa hii na tupate the other push now it was this one here ambao tukapata simple uh, retracement ambao ndio ilikuwa this level here and then what mkafanya entries I think you used your 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 own confirmations before even entering najua tu maybe kama ulifanya ili take advantage na hiji ambo mimi nilikuwa na hii general swing lakini even having the general swing i do also trade inside the actual trend is ni pipsi 882 which have capitalized but mpaka huko the actual level ni pipsi 1200 hivi ambacho 
yeah so you can see this is how uh, i expected the gbp jpy to break down okay now let's see J uh, gbp usd and what's next for it now last setup on bio nearly share na nye so in the liquid actual setup and in the liquid i did nearly swing leo ni kaide tuwe di entered around this level and line now we may hit my take profits cause ni take my take profit you around the end don't ask about the simple correction then to break but what i can see kwa nye gbp usd tunezo to kapat a simple rally rally move maybe until this level maybe i'm not sure guys me so market maker okay <laughs> Mimi sio market maker just to predict and you can also be reactive. So hapa tunaweza tukapata simple pullback kama itaanzia hapo also uko up in is maybe cash here around that level but i expect i expect kama unajua price action uweze kukosa hii setup uweze kukosa hii setup just to be aware about the price action ambayo itakuwa formed around this level or oh, i don't know vile ambavyo of strength ya pound vile itakuwa lakini tuweza tukapata a simple pullback so akisha unaangalia kuwa makini kuwa makini na na strength ya pound line now can see simple uh, ipo quite strong and ni kwa sababu pia ya issues za russia and ukraine line now pound again some strength lakini just stay tuned about this pace okay but kama uja take advantage from this level here ambayo ndio ilikuwa kama simple 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 entry point ambapo tulipata strong push naweza kaona kuna hii market imbalance ambayo tumepata and then all the way up and kwa watu watamba walikuwa wanatumia trend line they also saw this waliona hii kitu ambacho kimetokea right now so you can even expect it uh, this maybe to drop until around that level okay so about the entries Stuck in you confuse where vile ambavyo unatumia just use your actual 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 trading concepts ambazo uko nazo like how do you enter au oh, unaangalia vitu gani okay but this is what i can see on the gbp usd okay um, line now nipo kwenye free uh, kwenye free setups manake my break even tayari insha insha nisha break even nisha take my partial profit so it's a risky a risky free trade now okay so you know what the vibe guys not the vibe almost wiki imeanza weekend imeanza mapema right now but i just wanted to share with you uh, is is pays mbili and what i can give you is just kuwa calm ukiepo unafanya entries and always 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 put forward your own principles ambazo unaziangalia kabla ya kuingia trade they will help you a lot guys okay so thank you for watching do subscribe make sure you also like kwa sababu hii video itakuwa recommended kwa kwa watu wengine pia same as you so all of the best